want to drink some wine? <laughs> Not too long ago, I received the shipment of wines from WTSL. And I promised you that I would unpack each one of the wines that's in the set and do a top line video, describing a little bit more in detail. So today we're going to be drinking a beautiful Sauvignon Blanc from the northern part of Spain. The region of Rueda is in Castilla y León, which is in the northwest of Spain. And when people think of Spain, I think red wine comes to mind first. But this region here, which is about 100 miles northwest of Madrid, was always famous for this oxidized style of white wine that almost tasted like sherry. And as you might have known from the last unboxing video we did, Sauvignon Blanc originates in the central part of France. So it kind of makes sense, I guess, that it would find its way through France and into the northern part of Spain. And this particular region of Spain is pretty windy at times. Uh, Sotavento actually means against the wind or leeward, so it makes total sense. Oh, and you won't ever see this in a professional setting, but to save you some time, I'm going to show you this little trick right now. What? <laughs> I can actually smell this wine before I've even poured it out of the bottle. Uh, that's how intense that Sauvignon Blanc can be sometimes. It's very golden in color, which leads me to believe either it's been oak aged or it's oxidized, which wouldn't be surprising for this part of Spain. But it smells like uh, pineapple juice and like fruit cocktail. And you were saying that it... Yeah, run... I was getting uh, like like dried pineapple, like you get like, the bag at like the, at like the specialty market. There's a little bit of like a, a tannic grip on it too. I'm not very familiar with guava, but papaya I've had before. It's not sweet, but there's like that powdered sugar kind of almost mm -hmm. like a sensation. I don't know how to describe it. So I just looked at my notes and there's no oak or barrel aging on this wine whatsoever. So I would say it's slightly oxidized, which is kind of like a, a nod to the history of this region. It's pretty cool. Windy day. Food pairings. Food pairings. As far as food as food pairings. <laughs> food pairings. As far as food pairing is concerned, a really a fruity wine like this, strong tropical fruits. First thing that comes to mind, or light fluffy cheeses. Obviously like whipped ricotta, goat's cheese would be awesome. Also ceviche too. Like a lot of people use like mango and pineapple and ceviche. What would you have with a wine like this? You know me, I'm low class. <laughs> I'll, I'll get some, some, uh, some spray cheese on a cracker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, another delicious wine from WTSO and uh, we unboxed 12 of them. So if you want to see the other 11, Go back and watch the other videos too. And if you want to buy wines like these, obviously go to WTSO. Thanks for drinking with me today. I'm Mark Supsic. Cheers.